Hi guys! Uh, today in this episode we will continue the saga <laughs> of this uh, old uh, CNC router upgrade and in a previous video, if you remember, but we had some kind of issue with the movements of the NC programs, the G-code from uh, the Fusion 360. Long story short, I did try with the other uh, CAM softwares and looks to me None of them is uh, dropping this G53 whatever line into the code, it's only the Fusion 360. So under the comments of the previous video, I got uh, <laughs> kind of roasted <laughs> by Nicholas Goodmund, uh, I hope uh, pronounced his uh, name well. So we had a, a really long, uh, almost fighting uh, conversation about what's going on with the UCC and C and uh, the Fusion 360. So on the end I told him, come on, it's uh, nothing personal. It looks to me, it's just a combination of the two uh, software or the two system. And then I figured out what's going on. Ah, the other guy, Matthew, he mentioned he had the same issue with his system. So he wrote it like, I had uh, the issue with the G53 G0Z0 and it dragged the carbide bit across the hardened wise jaw. So when you create an NC program, there is an option on the right for safe retracts and a home positioning. Now, so he pointed out one issue in the Fusion 360 software, okay. So the other guy, Niklas uh, Gudmundsson, he just said uh, <laughs> on the whole world I have only this issue. Now, I can uh, accept uh, his uh, points, okay, I get it, I'm really new in this uh, system. I can accept the roasting, <laughs> no problem, but I think uh, by percentage, this fault is 33.3% fault of the UCCNC software programmers, 33.3% uh, fault of the Fusion programmers at the Autodesk, and 33.3% fault is my fault. So let me explain to you guys what's going on. May, may you don't remember the previous video. The system told to the head to go to the absolute zero position, which is determined by these uh, limit switches. So now I have here one, I have here other one, and I have the third one somewhere over there. Okay, so now this is absolute machine zero position. Now, in real life, if you believe or not, but I was the part of the team who repaired and uh, all, really all the CNC's from Siemens and uh, Fagor and all these really old uh, crazy CNC companies. But was my job was only to replace uh, motors, cables, connectors and maybe PSCs and uh, uh, upgrade and refresh the firmwares and uh, check the, the bouncing of, uh, of the limit switches because in the past we, we, we didn't have this uh, inductive switches, we had uh, the normal mechanical switches, so this was my job. So all of the CNC machines had the direct buttons for the G54, 55, 56, 50 whatever, which is exactly the same what we have in the UC CNC software. Nowhere, never, ever I saw any program code calling anything with the machine zero coordinate. Why? Let me explain to you why. This is the machine home zero position. So after you do anything change with the spindle, so you insert your new tool and you drop your uh, stock and your vices and your setup and your clamping system, whatever, this zero, this one is not anymore zero. So now you have to do a zeroing exactly, make sure the machine understand where the job is starting. After you, <laughs> you do anything here, forgot the machine home zero. This is good only for absolutely zero auto machine, do maintenance, uh, change the tool or change the motor or whatever. This is for only for service purposes. Of course, we will never ever 
start a job here because I have no space for the clamping and for the fixture position. Maybe here, yes, on the front, but, but here nothing. So this is the other uh, <laughs> uh, point of uh, never use the machine home G0 position. Your setup is always in some safe zone or depend on a program or the used material or the, the method of machining, your fixtures is never ever installed into the home machine zero position, which is the G53, Z, Y, X, whatever. And now we have a problem only with the Z because the Fusion 360, when you export a code with the UC CNC post processor, then you will get this G53, G0, Z0. Now, in good case scenario, of course, nothing will happen because your Z0 position is a maximum position in that direction. So let me explain to you what's happening now if I'm running this G code from the Fusion 360 on this machine after I installed the UC CNC software. And now here is where the things came a little bit complicated, but I think I will explain to you very well. So let me do now uh, a zeroing. Okay, so go with uh, my machine and we can find the zero position of my job. Let's say this is my gold bar, okay? And this is my uh, very expensive carbide tool to work on this uh, uh, piece of gold. So we will do a zeroing, of course. So let me go here a little bit and then we go Y. Let's say I just, you just barely wanna touch this uh, very expensive uh, material with this very expensive uh, tool bit. So now my tool is almost touching the material. Yeah, I hope. And now this is the time when I can say Okay, this is my zero. Okay, so let's say zero all. Remember for these uh, numbers. This is my setup for this job. So let me start the, this program, which is a very simple program. It's only two uh, hole. Let me show you, you see? So this is only two hole. And uh, basically that's it. This is why I told you guys I really like the, uh, the UCCNC software because the UCCNC software will tell you exactly what's going on. And I already see here something really weird or like what's going on here with this uh, 50 millimeter don't travel or I don't know what is this. But actually this is our problem. Of course, in real life, you don't want to keep your bit uh, next to the uh, surface. So we always uh, elevate a little bit, make sure we have enough uh, space to start the job and uh, we have enough time to stop the machine if anything uh, happen. And it will happen, believe me. If the code is using the G53 Z0, okay? Of course, the machine don't care about your zero. The machine wanna go to the Z zero, which is 48 millimeter distance from this position, which is absolutely incorrect. So let me start the job and enjoy <laughs> how the machine will crash my very expensive uh, gold uh, bar. Okay, so cycle start and you will see, bam. And done. Yeah? So this is what happens. So if in real life, let me stop it. So if in real life this is happening, this was my bit. Yeah? And this was my stock. I hope you, you saw it. Let me do it again. Make sure uh, we will see. Wake up and start the program. Bam. And we are done. Okay. And after that, everything is okay. So the distance and the, 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 the bottom head of the drilling and everything else is, from this point, everything is okay. 
So from this point, the G code is calling the working uh, coordinates. Okay, so you can see here, you know, it should be minus one and minus 1.7. So we be like a very, very short distance away to finish this uh, step. So what Matthew said, so when you create an NC program, there is an option on the right for safe retracts at home positioning. And there you can set the safe retracts and clearance height instead of G53. So <laughs> my question number one, why the Fusion 360 doesn't take my setup in the drilling process, let me show you, about all these clearance heights and all this, you can see here, eh? So we have here retract heights, we have uh, distance from the top, uh, I can show you from the front view. So this is our uh, clearance heights, everything is really far away from the stock. So when i exporting the G code for this uh, job, let me go here and let me do the post process and what Matthew said is somewhere here. <laughs> yeah, so this is the number one where I really don't understand why the Fusion programmers or maybe who wrote the, the post processor for the UCCNC uh, module uh, why they choose the G53XY whatever. The default should be use the clearance heights, okay, which is in your design. The, the fusion on, on, on that moment is give you a nice uh, clearance, like 10 mm, 5 mm, I don't remember the default. So let me do the post processing. Yeah, we will replace it and boom, open. And there is no more G53. Thank you very much, but we have a lot of uh, clearance. So, then let me put back my very expensive gold stock and we should see the job only starting. So, and it will not crash the, the tool <laughs> to my setup, yeah? So everything is on zero and should just press it. Voila! Yay! Done! No crash. Yeah? Everything is perfect. Everything working. Uh, but I think you guys can understand my point here. My point here is, uh, even if I'm a newbie on, on the Fusion 360 and, and I bought a, a new CNC machine, it shouldn't use anything with the G53. No, come on guys, this, is, uh, this cannot be a uh, uh, default settings. So thank you very much, uh, Matthew, to point out this one. This was really helpful, but we still don't understand one thing. Why the heck the machine is going down when the G53 Z0 command arrive to the processor? It should be go up because the zero coordinate it's here, not that direction, it's this direction. And I find out this program too. So, let me call a homing, okay? Boom, home all. You see everything now is moving and everything nicely going back to the home position. And after that, something really, really interesting happening. Let me show you. So the home zero, the machine zero, should contain only zeros. So X zero, Y zero, and Z zero, which is exactly there. So if everything is right and okay, so now we're talking about the UCCNC software, not about the Fusion 360 or the export, exported G code. Now we're talking about the UCCNC software. So now everything should be zero. So let me go there and find out what's going on. And we are not on zero. You see this uh, 50? So this was the, <laughs> the, the second surprise for me. Why the heck I have 50 
on a Z after the machine homing uh, process uh, is done. First I thought maybe I have some problem with the with the home switches because uh, you know guys we, we had some problems with the home switches but it was electrical problem nothing with the programming so let me go to the settings and try find out this uh, 50 we're just looking for this number 50 i don't know what data it is i don't know what is it but it should be something 50 around the Z, so 13, 14, uh, 2000, 4000, 240, 2000, ah, here it is, look at this, so, oh my god, I think somebody did a mistake, or I don't know, maybe this is something really basic uh, setup for some reason, so maybe this uh, 50 millimeter extra doing something with uh, the plasma and the laser settings, I don't know. So somebody at the UC CNC uh, programmer office, um, they left this uh, 50 millimeter in the Z-axis. Believe me, I didn't put this uh, 50 uh, unit here. Uh, no, um, I'm 100% sure. So let me drop here a very nice zero, make sure everything is set to zero and uh, auto set zero after the homing okay this will do auto set and let's save apply the settings and save the settings so now should this 50 disappear when i press the home pim 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 the machine is did the homing and voila we don't have any more this uh, 50 of course now we have like a minus offset so re zero eight at all. I don't have any more this 50 millimeter problem. So to prove uh, my point, we will load back the previous uh, export uh, fusion, uh, which which contain this crazy G53. So even even if we have. The, this crazy G53 in a G code, the machine shouldn't crash your tools, yeah? This is my new zero position, I hope you can see, yeah? I hope you can see, so this is my new zero position, this is my stock and this is my bit, okay? And let me do a zeroing, uh, so zero all. So this is uh, my new zero coordinate. So even if we have the G53 G0, Z0, in the lines, this should not do anything wrong because now this number are correct. So the minus 28 is absolutely correct. So now what the machine will do, instead of going down to try to decrease this 50 millimeter extra, now the motor will go up, try to decrease this minus 28. Huh? So? Welcome to the world of mathematics. So we can start the job. Boom. And I'm correct. Went up, coming down, and is starting the drilling, which is beautiful. Now I will have a polished uh, <laughs> surface. Actually, you know what? I really like this one. I think uh, this one polished really well. Oh my God. Oh, guys, this is like super smooth snow. So I think I can draw back my real bit. Yeah. And we can play tomorrow with a real cut because I have to cut something. Yeah, <laughs> I have already a job for this machine. So now everything is correct. OK, so this was three issue. Issue number one, the default export setting in a Fusion 360, which generated this uh, G54 free code. The second issue was in the installation of the UCCNC software which said right here are extra 50 millimeter units. I have really, I have no clue why and I can prove you I did indeed that one. So now we can go to my other computer, okay, and we can install the UCCNC software, dry as is, completely new installation and you will see this 50 millimeter is by default. And I really, I have no clue why. So let me go there. We will run the UCCNC software. 
Yeah, we will run it with the demo. So this is my uh, controller, the AXBB E. <laughs> and then we just have to go to the uh, settings, go to access. So X, zero, Y, zero, and Z, 50. I'm right. So this 50 <laughs> is in the default setting of your installations. Oh my God. Yeah, so I was right. I didn't change by myself. I didn't remember I touched this uh, thingy here. I think now I'm happy. I get uh, everything right. My machine doesn't wanna crash anymore anything on the table, so it's meaning on the next week we can start to produce a couple of new parts for the machine. I think uh, we are done, yeah? So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.